सभापति डॉक्टर सुरेश राज शर्मा अनुरोध करद डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम अनरेबल मिनिस्टर अफ एजुकेशन अनरेबल मिनिस्टर्स रेस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर पी आर सपोन प्रेसिडेंट बाइडोल यूनिवर्सिटी योर एक्सलेंसी रेस्पेक्टेड गेस्ट डियर पेरेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स वी आर वेरी प्लीज टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द हार्ड वर्क and the goodwill of many of our friends here in Nepal and outside has made it possible for us to organize a special event to the Minister and our Chancellor for giving us the extremely valuable time, interest and guidelines. We know, sir, there are many pressing issues for your attention. <coughs> especially to the students, the first graduates in the new Nepal. I take this opportunity to thank our very distinguished guest, His Excellency Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Dr. Pia Sakhor for accepting our invitations. <laughs> of achievement in the education career of our students. <coughs> Universities are high seats of learning all over the world, and research establishments were developed yeah, in yeah. transferring such responsibilities to independent management, generating additional resources, internationalizing education, and establishing stronger links with the industry has become the new mantra in the management of institutes in Singapore, Thailand, Australia, and many countries in Europe. <clears throat> Germany and France international faculties admitting brighter young students in higher num bigger numbers, enhancing the abilities to sell more patents, recognition by supporting their own <coughs> uh, 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 supporting their own brand of academic institutions. U.S. universities had, had, had already started a strong process of attracting best brains from other countries over the centuries. This trend appears to be spreading to other countries quite rapidly. The problem is not just external partnership through a suitable system of sharing such people in improving the quality of education and also in making education more contributory to the development of economy. <coughs> Certain concerns like global warming and environmental problems strong common agenda in both and rich and poor countries. Nepal, in spite of even to be replaced by greater self-reliance, empowering our youth with most efficient technological and managerial competition uh, competence could possibly be the best in to ourselves and residential teaching and teaching. From research university in Nepal, I'm talking about the Army University. <coughs> the dream uh, uh, university, <coughs> the dream has been only this has not been possible. We are fully committed to developing it in the future. The future for the university has many potential directions. Also, the university has maintained a reasonable standard so far in the context of Nepal. This indicates to be a major challenge uh, in, and for that right, higher education to be more responsive to the broader environment in which we are educated. How to make universities sustainable in future is an increasing political challenge in the country and the fact that huge clouds of uncertainty still over, over us we need urgently to find more effective solutions to these problems. There is a lot that we can learn from others.